What's up everyone and welcome to the reveal of my super secret. Oh man, I'm totally just kidding with you guys. There's absolutely nothing secret about it whatsoever. Welcome to the Wild Strike Elementalist. Wild Strike is a melee attack skill that converts all of the damage to a random element when an enemy is struck. Then, depending on the element chosen, it releases an explosion, an arcing bolt of lightning, or an icy wave. An attack with Wild Strike consists of two parts, an initial melee hit that functions similar to a default melee attack, and one of the following effects being chosen at random with equal chance. A fiery explosion with the keywords fire, AoE, attack an icy wave with the keywords cold projectile attack, an arcing bolt of lightning with the keywords lightning chaining attack. And that was just a little bit off the wiki page for you guys because as you will see later on in the video, the chaining from the lightning has significant impact on what we are doing. Alright, so as you just saw, I thought I'd start this video with a Lich, a very painful boss to do, almost going down at the end. We're still in our Tabula Rasa, so we got great damage, but not a lot of defense, so not too bad for level 72. Okay, so level 80 something now, into maps, all the blue text that just popped up on the right hand side of your screen, those are all the mods that are affecting this rare tier 7 map that I'm running. I tried to get as many on there for you guys as I could, I didn't want to skimp you. Although they're not very scary mods, when you put all those on top of all the mods that are already in here because of the race event, things can sometimes get a little scary just because they get overwhelming. Like right here at this breach, I really wanted to get up in there in that group and just blow them all up and go crazy for you guys. However, I was lagging and dropping frames. My character is currently running three Gloom Herald NTXs, meaning all three of my Heralds have a special visual every time they do damage, which is all the time. On top of that, I just got the Belly of the Beast on, so now we have extra gore, which puts little particles of blood and guts just flying all over the screen and that drags down my system even more. So admittedly, I was playing it a little bit safe here. However, still not doing too bad. Moving on to the boss, the boss was no problem at all. My life leech feels great, everything feels great. As a matter of fact, I pulled away from her right here at the end, right here. I should have just stayed there and just life leeched through it. We would have been just fine, but there you go. Now, onto something a lot more fun. Yes, I tried to do at Ziri with Wild Strike because I was not thinking clearly. However, it did go pretty darn well at first, so we'll just check that out for a minute. running around like a bozo right here. Oh my gosh, where's the other one? Where's he at? Oh, he's down here in the dark corner. Okay, we got him. He was amped up, but we got him. So as you can see and imagine, it feels pretty comfortable. No problem here at the trio. This last guy, I took a little bit more damage than I normally would just because I was standing in the you know black crap more than I normally would, but still no big deal. However, moving on to Ziri herself. Everything was going fine. Here's her at the ad phase. We're blowing everything away, just flying through. And then... Out of nowhere, because I've already been through here once, and I, I took a lot of damage, but we were fine. All of a sudden, this starts happening. <laughs> oh, what in the head? Let's take another look at it. Okay, let's see that again. Oh, man. Just got So, what exactly is going on? Yep, that's right. If you remember back to the beginning of the video, I mentioned that one of the secondary effects of Wild Strike was an arcing bolt of lightning with the keywords lightning chaining attack. 
what exactly does that mean? It means that one of your randomly chosen elemental attacks is a bolt of lightning that chains when it hits an enemy, which means that when it successfully hits an enemy, it jumps to another one. This can happen any number of times depending on the skill itself and what modifiers you may or may not have from support gems or your skill tree. I do not have any of that stuff, however, Wild Strike chains four to seven times by itself. That means that every time I do the Bolt of Lightning, it jumps from four to seven other enemies. And that is actually exactly what you are looking at right here. The Lightning Bolt is chaining, or jumping, between all four of the clones that are on the screen. So why is this important? I mean, anyone who already knows Path of Exile is just sitting there laughing, I know, but that's okay. This is for those of you who do not know. This part of the fight is known as the clone phase. This is where Atziri will split herself up into four little copies of herself. Three of them will try to damage you directly, but one of them will just stand there holding a mirror. Any damage done to the one that holds the mirror is reflected right back onto you. So yeah, you may have guessed by now, I'm just killing myself. And we'll see that in slow motion right here and you can watch that lightning bolt just arc around all of them, hitting the one with the mirror, bouncing right back into my face. So, okay, what did I do then? Well, I pulled a couple of gems out of my belly of the beast and put it into a tabula that already had molten strike and elemental focus. Then I checked my resistances to make sure I was good to go. Since this is a fresh run on Atziri, I swapped out my uh, Basalt Flask for a Topaz Flask, refilled the charges, and went back in there for Atziri. I kind of feel bad, it feels like a cop-out having to switch out Molten Strike, but I put it in the video because I want it, you know, I'm gonna be honest with what I show you with what I did, I'm not gonna cheat you in any way. And just a couple of gym swaps and a new piece of armor, you know, forget the defense. I was standing in stupid places there, you don't need it. You have the damage, you just take her down. And then we can just move on, we got our flask. Okay, lots more damage, let's go. Which brings me to a thought I had. This node here cannot take reflected elemental damage, since that's mostly what I'm doing anyways. I wonder if this node here would actually trivialize the mirror clone, like make her completely useless. I don't know, but that's not the way I'm gonna go, and I would actually lose a lot of damage if I took this node. So maybe after everything's all said and done, and I get done with this video and we're higher level, maybe I'll respect the points and make a video solely about taking at Ziri and her clones on with just Wild Strike. So uh, maybe not the best for at Ziri at the moment, but don't you worry, I still got a lot to do, including Uber Lab. I want to get Elder and his guardians out here for you guys, as well as my first attempt at a couple of Breach Lords. So be sure not to miss the next video, it'll have good stuff, as well as a full build guide for my Wild Strike Elementalist. So uh, thanks for watching, you guys rock, you are the best, and hopefully I will see you in the next one.